Well, for more, we're now joined from Kabul by France Van Katka's uh, Lila Jacinto. Lila, thanks for joining us. No figure, figures on uh, turnout uh, at this stage, but uh, are we getting any sense of how it's going? Yes, we have less than three hours to go before polls close. We don't have uh, voter turnout figures. We should be getting preliminary information shortly. But I spoke to a UN spokesman and he said the overall picture in the country was mixed. It was patchy. The voting was brisk in some areas like the Shamali Plains just north of Kabul. This is a traditional anti-Taliban area. Uh, so voting was pretty brisk there in the northeastern states of Badakhshan too. Apparently there was a high female voter turnout. But in the south and the southeastern states, which are the dangerous insurgent hit areas, voting had not picked up, he said. And uh, I have to tell you, uh, Richard, that I, in, I am right now in downtown Kabul and I have never seen the city as deserted as this. The city is in a lockdown. I was in the Kabul Bazaar area and this is a teeming bazaar where even on the Friday weekly holiday, the shops are full. There are vendors and sellers all over. It was completely shut down. This is in the heart of Kabul, mind you. It's downtown Kabul. Not many Afghans can afford to live here. But in the outlying areas of Kabul, where most Afghans live. Voting was brisk in some polling stations, in some uh, outlining areas in the, in the west of the city. They even had lines outside. So we will get a clearer picture um, in the hours to come, really. Now, uh, the Taliban vowed to disrupt this election. Are they having much of an impact? Well, it began with a bang in Kandahar. They had a salvo of, resi uh, of rockets uh, thrown into, into Kandahar. This is the birthplace of the Taliban. It's very significant for the Taliban. Uh, I spoke to uh, an observer in Paktia province. This is an extremely dangerous province uh, in the southeast, right by the Pakistan border. And he said in Gardez city, which is the capital of, of Paktia, polling was initially brisk, but there was a suicide bombing around 200 meters from a polling station. Nobody was hurt except the suicide bomber. But he said that uh, voting dropped after that attack. And he said in the outlining rural areas around Gardez, Taliban were, were stopping people from voting. So, you know, the Taliban had promised that they were going to do what they could to stop this election. And, they seem, and it looks like they're trying. Leela Jacinto in Kabul, thank you very much indeed for that update.